Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to do some monumental typography. You know, this is in 3D, it's in perspective, but it doesn't feel, you know, it's like that simple 3D unit. It feels more like a building or something big, you know. So we're going to explore this stuff. So the main idea is to use up some typography. So I'm going to go with this composition, but I'm going to show you like how to distort letters. So I'm going to put this away. I'm going to press the letter T or you can select here the type tool. Click type in whatever you like. I'm going to go with a super simple letter this way. I'm going to go to object, expand, click OK. I'm going to right click on group. So the main idea is to do some really interesting composition and distort however you like. So, so far I put it like this and from here I can, uh, you know, do different distortions. For example, I'm going to double click on the letter P. I can select the direct selection tool here. I'm going to select these two anchor points, you know, and just drag it up. And this is basically how you transform letters. You just need to get creative with it. So anyways, I'm going to work with the serif typography. I also going to recolor it as a light gray. Okay, so make sure that everything is on group. So I'm going to right click on group. So every letter is, you know, on group separately. I'm going to select them all. And now I'm going to go to the effects, 3D materials. I'm going to go down here to the 3D classics. So check this out. This is in Illustrator 2022, the latest updates. They had improved, you know, the 3D settings and the 3D classics are right here you know and click on the extrude and bevel we're gonna go here down to the what is that isometric top increase the extrusion depth I'm gonna go somewhere around 900 click OK I'm gonna select them all go to object expand appearance so now I can as you can see adjust these I can pull this down or up recustomize it eventually and as you can see, the letter E needs to, go, needs to go to the letter A and the letter E is right here. So it's a little bit more complicated. I'm gonna, so I need to put this down because this, this is basically blocking, you know, the letter T. So what I'm gonna do is position it somewhere around here where it should be like on the map, it should be somewhere around here. I'm gonna right click, uh, arrange, sand backwards. So, you know, this is the manual way to do it but you can go and see you know the shortcuts send backwards control plus uh left bracket it's very important to know this keyword so you can go press control and this way you can you know go over or go under but right now we need to go like under so So I can say that they are fitting pretty well together. It's not easy to make this. It's uh, it's kind of complicated. You need to, you know, figure it out. Okay. So from here, what we're going to do is select the letter. For example, the letter L and I'm going to right click on on group. I'm going to need to ungroup it again. Right click on group. As you can see, this is together, but it has a lot of layers in here. So I'm going to right click release clipping mask so as you can see it's separated all the layers don't release it and go to pathfinder and click on unite if you don't have the pathfinder go to windows and select the pathfinder and do the same with the rest everything is separated you know everything is cleaned out so now we can apply the color you know so it's kind of simple i selected the color palette i'm gonna go here so i got like three colors i'm gonna go with the yellow i'm gonna select the top ones and i'm gonna press and hold shift select the letters and this is gonna look something like this for this one to have some contrast i'm gonna apply a darker one okay so we got like shadows and we got some lights in here these darker areas are the shadows so you need to uh, adjust the colors for that you know select some darker colors and here these are the lighter areas you know for example here you're gonna apply some lighter colors i decided to go with some brown in the darker area and with some bluish in the lighter area it's a nice mix in there i can select them all press and hold shift and just apply it all right so it looks something like this check it out it's more in perspective i'm gonna select them all right click group select the rectangle from here 
I'm gonna create the rectangle, press and hold shift plus R to create that rectangle. And I'm gonna select also a color. I don't know, I'm gonna go with this pink because this is what I did. I'm gonna swap it from fill to stroke and I'm gonna position it accordingly. I'm gonna swap it again, select both, right click, make clipping mask. So of course, you know, the color disappeared, but what I can do is select the direct selection tool and go here and it's gonna select, you know, this rectangle and I'm gonna color it again. And mainly, this is how you create this uh, 3D composition in Illustrator. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye-bye.